hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem we are required to determine the distances x and y for equilibrium if f1 equals to 800 and f2 equals to 1000 newton right so this f1 is given this is equal to 800 newton and this f2 is 1000 newtons right and we are required to find this uh, x and y distances right so we are required to find this x and y so as we can see that this uh, rope is passing through or this cable is passing through this pulley b and this pulley c so it's a continuous cable right so the tension in the whole cable will remain the same and that will be equal to 800 newton right so if if we represent the tension in this cable right so here we will have this 800 newton force which will be acting like this right if we consider the free body diagram right let me separate this right so we will have if we consider this point b the free body diagram so we will have this f1 force which will be acting here as well this will be 800 newton this is equal to f1 and similarly we will have the same force equal to 800 newton which will be acting like this right so this is again f1 this is equal to 800 newton right and let's assume that this angle is phi and let's say this angle is theta right since we do not know this y and x distances so we are not sure about this theta and phi right so we have to find this x and y distances right now if if this is my positive x and positive y direction right so we can apply the equilibrium condition that is if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero let's say and if this is our positive direction right so as we can see that this f uh, this 800 newton force will have one component which will be acting upwards and this one will have component which will be acting downwards right and this will be the sine component right so this is 800 sine of phi it is acting in the positive direction so we will write plus 800 sine of phi and this sine component is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus and this is again 800 sine of theta right and this will be equal to zero right so we can write that if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will be equal to like this and this 800 will be cancelled out so we can write that sine of phi equals to sine of theta so from this we can conclude that phi equals to theta right so this means that both of these angles are equal right so now we can write that this angle is also theta right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero and let's say that this is our positive direction this is our positive x axis is right so this 800 newton force will have one component which will be acting in this direction and similarly this one will have one another component which will be acting in this direction right so we have two cos components right so we can write that this is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 2 into 800 cos of theta we have two 800 cos of theta components right so that is why I, I have multiplied this with 2 and this f2 is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus and this is thousand and this will be equal to zero right so from this we can write that cos of theta is equal to minus thousand divided by 2 into 800 that is 1600 and this is minus right so minus will cancel out so this will become plus so now if we take cos inverse right so theta will be equal to cos inverse and this is 1000 divided by 1600 so from this theta equals to 51.32 degrees right so now we know this theta angles right so now if i apply tan theta right if i write that tan theta in this triangle if we apply tan theta so then it will be equal to y divided by x right from this triangle 
and similarly from this triangle if we apply tan theta so then we can write tan theta in this case it will be 2 divided by x right so this is 2 divided by x so now if we equate both of these equations right so then uh, y of x is equal to 2 divided by x so x will cancel out so then we are left with y equals to 2 meters right so this y is now equal to 2 meters right and similarly if we apply if you want to find this uh, this x so then we have this equation right now we know y so if we apply if we want to find x so from this equation we can write x equals to y divided by tan theta and y equals to 2 meter and theta is known right so we can write that this is tan 51.32 so from this x is equal to 1.60 meters